Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a ban appeal or uh, uh, embed response for your server. Let's say there's an application and uh, you want it in your server or there's something wrong with your application. I'm going to show you how to fix it today. So first, what you want to do is uh, you want to go to your ed. You want to go to integrations and you want to go to here. And then you want to go to new webhook and you are going to make that webhook so i'm gonna make an example and i'll be back this is one of my test servers so now we are going to uh use this server here so which uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to yours you want to go over here and which one do you want to click on this waffle or this right here you want to go to right over here and you want to press forms then you want to make a application and i'm just gonna make this uh template so you will be able to copy this um once done let not copy it because i don't because you cannot copy other forms yet unless you're the original creator so what you want to do is you want to make out your questionnaire and it works out with all these also all of them the pictures and everything so you can uh don't not don't have to worry about the embed not working for them uh so i'm going to import some questions and i'll be back Okay, there you go and i just made a simple one here um so it's just a template um so you want to get this form in the description below um it will be in the description for all of it so what you want to do is you want to do control a and then control c and then you want to go over here this little three dots and then go to script editor Now what you want to do is you want to do control A, then delete, backspace, and then you want to do control V. Now what you want to do is you want to put your webhook in here. By the way, this webhook will be deleted, so if you even try, um, it will not work. So then what you want to do, you want to go into your integrations, or you could do a Pacific channel. I'm going to do a Pacific channel announcements. So then go to integrations, create a webhook, and click a name. I'm going to make it template application block. Application. And then I'm going to let that do that. Then you want to go back because it, it's, it's a little buggy because you can't go back and copy it again. You want to go to integrations again, go back, and then copy it. Then go back to here. I'm going to do control V. And then make a title for it. I recommend, I'm just going to do template. Um, and you can call this whatever coding project you would like to call it. I'm going to call this a template project. 1-1. One, one. 11 i like putting one one but anyway you can add an avatar image um th this right here you can do that um you can add a short description so you know so you don't forget in the future and you can also add a, uh, a custom color my custom color is right on my bio here Oh, uh, the bio here. Where's my, where's my color at? Uh, 
you can look up one like uh purple hex color or green hex code Um, there you go. This is the hex code. If it has a hashtag, please get rid of it. Okay. Now, do that. Now you can mention a user like yourself or a role, but I'll do that because it will annoy my staff. Next thing, you want to press save project with this little thing up here. Then you want to go over to triggers. Then you want to press add a trigger. Then you want to go to open on form submit or open right here you can give it a time driven so here's an example if you had 60 right here um if you had 60 uh i mean six of these applications every uh there will only be one that the only one will be applied every hour so every six hours there's one applied um or you can add a minute to stop spammers or a day timer, you're only allowing one a day, or two a day, or three a day, or it's just something else, I don't know. So you just want to do form, or form calendar, you don't have to do your email. So make sure if you're doing this one, you make sure it has form perform, and on form submit, because if you do something else on form submit, it will not work. So failure notifications, I just want to tell you this, if something goes wrong, you want to make sure you get notified immediately. Because it can show like all your information in Discord, like your web, like your web hook, and it could be used to like exploit the server, like mess with roles. Because also, they can also web, web hooks can use commands. So, I'm just telling you that you want to be notified immediately. So, you want to press save. Now it should say loading data. This should take a few moments. So uh, you you want to go here. You want to press your email. All my emails blacked out. And then you want to just go to advanced and go to project unsafe. Don't worry, Google is safe. They just think the project is unsafe, as I told you before. Um, it's just that uh, th this it can allow your server to be hacked if your webhook is shown. So make sure you have that on that immediately because it could actually save your server now as you can see it's been open now what we can, we're going to do we're going to go to send we're going to go here i'm going to shorten it and i'm going to allow it okay why are you here i don't know why won't you leave because you're dumb and you can also add your name and everything uh, just as in my Google Forms, as an example here, to see, it's in, it's in that, it's a template, and it tells you what day and time it was released. Now, um, if you really want, you can also uh, vary various against some things. Like, as you can see, my server, whoops, uh, I put appeal, all this other answer stuff. And uh, this this is another thing. Um, make sure your uh, webhooks are private. So go to your roles. Make sure every single one is like. If I go to webhooks here, uh, web, just make sure every single role does not have webhook. Otherwise, they can delete and find it and get into the server. It could be anyone, any role, any time. So just make sure you go through every single one of your roles. Make sure they don't have webhook permissions because if they do they can really mess up the server give themselves admin permissions it's gonna be horrible please do not do it um yeah so i really hope this helped you help make your own google forms and you can also if you were banned from my server or if you want to join the, the link will be in the description below um also there's a fun thing outside of one more thing everyone keeps saying this is a exploit discord that that right there dsc.gg you can actually look this up and you can actually do dsc.gg 
and you actually see it's just a it's just a word sort it's just a discord link so i use that for you guys if you ever need help with anything dm me i'm always on the server uh, about 24 7 if you ever need anything my dms are open but please do not spam staff for help um yeah this server if you want more of these discord videos please tell me uh this is just my f my first tutorial my next video will be a video of a game you guys are probably gonna like because it's gonna be very funny and i'm just gonna point out now it's anomic it's gonna be it's gonna be funny but um yeah you see the video in a few days so see ya um i hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe join my discord and it's been dope it's been great peace